welcome to a decidedly spooky little fairy tale. Today we will be discussing the stolen pennies or the stolen farthings depending on which version you know. And this was a, an extremely short tale, it's barely a page, in the first edition of the Children's and Household Tales published by the Brothers Grimm in the year 18. 12. Let's get into it. So the tale opens with a family, father, mother, two kids, sitting down for their noonday meal, which is basically lunch, and a visitor, which is a friend of the family and who has lunch with them. As soon as the clock strikes 12, the visitor sees a small, pale child enter through the front door and walk silently to the other door at the opposite side of the room and go through it. Shortly the child reappears and goes back out of the front door. On the second and the third day the exact same thing happens each time the clock strikes 12. Finally on the fourth day the visitor asks the father who the pale child dressed in white actually is. The father answered that he hadn't seen anything and that he didn't know who it could be. The fifth day, again when the clock strikes 12 and the pale child enters, the visitor points him out to the father and again he says that he doesn't see anything and neither does the mother or the other children see, hear anything out of the ordinary. So the visitor gets up and he follows the child to the room, he opens the door and what he sees is the pale child sitting on the floor, digging and rummaging under the floorboards. But as soon as the pale child looks up and sees the visitor actually seeing him and watching him, he just disappears into thin air. Now the visitor goes back to the family who are presumably still eating lunch and describes in detail what this child actually looks like. Now from this description the mother is able to recognise that it is her own dear child who died not four weeks ago, which you would think they would have mentioned a little bit earlier with it being a bit more raw. So the whole family then goes into this room where the pale child was and they start ripping up the floorboards and underneath the floorboards they find two pennies that the boy had been given by his mother to give on to a poor man but instead of giving the pennies away the child had hidden them under the floorboards so that he could buy himself a biscuit or a treat now because the child died without giving or using these pennies or farthings he was unable to rest in his grave and had returned to the room every day at noon when the clock struck the hour to check that the pennies were there and to see if he could find them. And he'd been doing this for the last four weeks. So the parents take the pennies and they do what should have been done originally and they give these two pennies to a poor man that they find in the street. And the pale child never again returns to the home when the clock strikes 12. The child rests easy in its grave and there are no footsteps in the dark. And that is it. I'd said it was a little one, but I hope you enjoyed this little spooky session. And as always, I shall see you next time and keep reading. Bye.